in the top stories. New Vibes Band Truck topple, Topples Over in Nevis. Miss Culturama 2023 crowned. And St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party officials attend anniversary church service. The details to these stories and more after the break. Are you ready for the summer? Need a plan like no other. Sign up for internet and get one month free, plus a chance to pay zero dollars for the rest of the year. Plus, get a chance to win free data, gas vouchers, $500 cash weekly, grocery vouchers, Fed tickets, and more. Switch over to Flow. Be ready for school with the coolest deals from Cork. Free gift with your back-to-school purchases, plus big discounts on cell phones, computers, printers, televisions, and more. Shop today with no cash and get instant credit on three to 48 months credit plan. Save big with great deals and head back to school in style. Only from Courts, bringing value home. Conditions apply. In cricket, there are a few essentials. <laughs> A bat, a pitch, a ball, some fielders, and plenty of refreshments. Enjoy the cricket with Angostura Chill. Angostura Chill, the official refreshment partner of the Hero CPL T20. Hello and welcome to the ZIZ Major Newscast. I'm Jason Davis. The Juve morning celebrations in Nevis came to an abrupt halt on Monday morning when the truck carrying the New Vibes band toppled over on the side of Long Point Road. CCTV footage shows the tractor that was pulling the band suddenly swerving and the driver jumping off. Several other persons jumped off of the trailer as well before it ran into the bushes at the side of the road. There have been no reports of serious injuries, but police have been gathering information to determine what happened. We'll have more details as they become available. Meanwhile, Nikesha Henry is the newly crowned Miss Culture Queen. She won the 2023 staging of the event on Sunday night with 715 points. The show took place at the Cultural Complex and saw four other beauties competing for the crown. Nangela Semple, Kelsey Edwards, Selena Brown and Odysseia Edwards. Nikesha won Best Ambassadorial Speech and Wear with 189 points, Best On Stage Interview with 221 points and Miss Congenial. Reality. Nigella Semple took first runner-up with 705 points and won the Miss Popular segment. Second runner-up was Kelsey Edwards with 693 points. She was also awarded Best Performing Talent. Selena Brown was awarded Best in Evening Gown with 183 points. On Sunday, members of the Federal Cabinet joined the congregation of the New Birth Gospel Tabernacle for a Thanksgiving service to mark the one-year anniversary of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party's victory at the general elections in 2022. The church visited as part of a series of activities to mark the anniversary. Making a presentation to the congregation, Prime Minister the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew said this celebration gives them the opportunity to look back at the achievements they have made over the past Last year. One year ago, we embarked on a journey with a pledge to bring positive change, progress, and prosperity to every corner of our beloved nation. Today, as we reflect on the past 
12 months, we can proudly say that we have made significant strides towards fulfilling that commitment and establishing our sustainable island state. He said despite challenges, they have had advancement in various sectors of national development. Together, we have strengthened our nation's foundation, focusing on prosperity, inclusivity, sustainability, transparency, integrity, and progress for all. Together, we revitalized our economy, going from a deficit position to surpluses in our first, first quarter of 2023. The church also presented Prime Minister Drew with a plaque in recognition of his commitment and assistance to the, ch assistance to the church. After the break, Pajo donates bus to the Ministry of Health and driver injured during collision between a vehicle and an animal. Stay with us. Are you ready for the summer? Need a plan like no other? Stay connected when you're on the go. Sign up for internet and get one month free, plus a chance to pay zero dollars for the rest of the year. Plus, get a chance to win free data, gas vouchers, $500 cash weekly, grocery vouchers, Fed tickets, and more. Switch over to Flow. Oscars Value Mart IGA Special. Rolling July 27 to August 9. Now, our Value Club Blue Tax Special. Wishbone Salad Dressings, $11.99. Pringles Chips, $8.49. Essential Everyday Grated Parmesan Cheese, $11.99. Essential Everyday Fries, $13.99. Botoli Pasta Sauce is $14.49. When use it, adjustable ear freshener, $7.49. And now, our very low weekly... Value deals! Kraft Barbecue Sauce, $7.49. Bumblebee Chunk Light Tuna Water and Oil, $4.49. Peter Pan Peanut Butter, $12.89. Pearl Pancake Mix, $10.99. Planters Cheese Balls and Curls, $9.99. Soft Soap Liquid Hand Soap, $4.99. Shop Smart, Shop Value Mart. Sea listo y haga sus compras aquí en... Value Mart! Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to ignite your dining experience with the most explosive deals of the year? Then brace yourselves for the Dynamite Dining Room Sales Event at Horseman's Furniture and Appliances. Get ready to blow away the competition with our unbeatable offer. For the entire month of August, we're lighting up the savings with a Dynamite 20% off on all dining room sets. But that's not all. Hold on tight as we double the excitement. You heard right. Double cash back on every dining room set on higher purchase. Picture this, you walk into a house with furniture and appliances and find the dining room set of your dreams. A stunning centerpiece that will impress all your guests. And then, you get a door dropping 20% off the original price. Wow! But wait, the Dynamite deals don't stop there. When you make your purchase during the Dynamite Dining Room sales event, we'll give you double the cash back because why settle for ordinary when you can have the extraordinary terms and conditions apply. See store for details. 50,000? 50,000! 50,000 dollars? Win big with TDC! Win up to 50,000 dollars cash in the TDC Mega Rewards Mega Raffle! To enter, you must be a Mega Rewards member or sign up to TDC Mega Rewards Loyalty Program. Shop at our TDC retail stores or online at shoptdcgroup.com to receive one entry for every $250 spent. Draws take place from July to November. Win $10,000 every month with your entry rolled over so you can win, win, and win even more. Yes, this is 50. Terms and conditions apply. The biggest party in sport is back. CPL returns with more action than ever before. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, Watch the biggest names in cricket battle it out in the race for glory. Get your tickets now at cplt20.com or at the box office. Join the party. Experience cricket played louder. Welcome back. 
The government of St. Kitts and Nevis, through the Ministry of Health, has received a new vaccination bus, courtesy the Pan American Health Organization, or PAHO. Prime Minister and Minister of Health, the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, was on hand to accept the keys to the bus from PAHO country representative Anique Wilson during a brief ceremony on Friday at the Newtown Health Center. The Prime Minister used the occasion to extend his gratitude and that of the government and people of St. Kitts and Nevis to PAHO for the donation. In other news, the police are investigating a traffic accident along the Peninsula Road where a vehicle collided with an animal. The incident occurred on Saturday between 8 and 8.30 a.m. near Christoph Harbor and involved motor car CD56 driven by Ai Ching Liu of Frigate Bay. The police say that Mr. Liu was traveling southeast along Peninsula Road heading towards Reggae Beach. While proceeding, a donkey ran ran across the road and Mr. Liu braked in order to come to a stop but collided with the donkey. Mr. Liu sustained bruises to both forearms and complained of chest pains. He was issued with a medical form. And finally, in national news, Melvin and Malvi James are the first winners of $10,000 in the TDC 50K Mega Raffle held on Monday, 31st July. The couple's names were randomly chosen in the digital draw from among 14,000 entries from the TDC retail stores, shoptdcgroup.com, and new hire purchase contracts opened in June and July. It forms part of the group's 50th anniversary celebrations, being held under the theme your neighbor, your partner, your future. At a brief handing over ceremony at the TDC Home and Building Depot on Thursday, Melvin James was presented with his winnings by TDC Group Executive Director Glenville Jeffers. In accepting his check, Mr. James expressed his happiness and the joy of winning and praised the company for giving back to its customers in such a tangible way. When asked what he'll do with the winnings, James said, quote, There's a lot to be done. It involves involves shopping again, buying home items, and renovations. But of course, I will pass this, this on to the Minister of Finance, my wife." End quote. Coming up in regional news, cybercrime trial to begin soon for Guyana policemen under investigations. The details when we return. Here are your Horsford's Value Mart IGA special. Rolling July 27 to August 9. Now, our Value Club Blue Tax special. Wishbone salad dressings, $11.99. Pringles chips, $8.49. Essential Everyday Grated Parmesan cheese, $11.99. Essential Everyday Fries, $13.99. Botoli pasta sauces, $14.49. When using adjustable air freshener, $7.49. And now, our very low weekly... Value deals! Kraft barbecue sauce, $7.49. Bumblebee chunk like tuna water and oil, $4.49. Peter pan peanut butter, $12.89. Pearl pancake mix, $10.99. Planters cheese balls and curls, $9.99. Soft soap, liquid hand soap, $4.99. Shop smart, shop value mart. Sea listo y haga sus compras aquí en Value Mart. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand dollars. Win big with TDC. Win up to fifty thousand dollars cash in the TDC Mega Rewards Mega Raffle. To enter, you must be a Mega Rewards member or sign up to TDC Mega Rewards Loyalty Program. Shop at our TDC retail stores or online at shoptdcgroup.com to receive one entry for every two hundred and fifty dollars spent. Draws take place from July to November. Win ten thousand every month with your entry rolled over so you can win win and win even more yes, this is 50. terms and conditions apply the biggest party in sport is back CPL returns with more action than ever before no, are you kidding me Olay! watch the biggest names in cricket battle it out in the race for glory Get your tickets now at cplt20.com or at the box office. Join the party. Experience cricket played louder. Are you ready for the summer? Need a plan like no other. 
sign up for internet and get one month free. Plus a chance to pay $0 for the rest of the year. Plus get a chance to win free data, gas vouchers, $500 cash weekly, grocery vouchers, Fed tickets and more. Switch over to Flow. On the regional scene, nearly one year after interdicted police sergeant Dion Bascom in Guyana was charged with cybercrime offenses for accusing several senior police officers of a massive cover-up in the murder investigation of a gold dealer, a date has finally been set for the beginning of his trial. This case has drawn significant attention and the upcoming trial is expected to be closely watched. Tiana Cole provides more details on the charge. Interdicted Police Sergeant Dion Bascom will go on trial before Senior Magistrate Liron Daly at the Georgetown Magistrates Court on August 21. On September 14, 2022, Bascom made his first court appearance before then Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan, where he was slapped with three cybercrime charges in connection with Facebook Live videos in which he accused several senior police officers of a massive cover up in a probe into the murder of gold dealer. Ricardo Fagundes, known as Paper Shorts, who was executed in a hail of bullets outside a Palm Court nightclub in March 2021. Bascom was slapped with three charges relating to the use of a computer system to transmit electronic data with the intent to humiliate, harass, or cause substantial emotional distress to Superintendents Mitchell Caesar and Chabnot Singh. He is currently out on $300,000 bail and had to lodge his passport with the court and report to the Criminal Investigation Department headquarters, Georgetown, every other Friday pending the outcome of his trial. Bascom was interdicted from duty and placed on half pay, with effect from September 14, 2022, pending the outcome of the criminal charges. Last year, Bascom made several Facebook Live videos in which he made damning allegations of corruption against several senior police detectives and businessman Azuddin Mohamed. Bascom claimed he later deleted the post out of fear for his family members' lives. Acting Police Commissioner Clifton Hicken and Crime Chief Wendell Blanham have debunked Bascom's allegations, calling them malicious and untrue. Businessman Mohammed Asin filed a $200 million defamation lawsuit against Bascom. Tiana Co reporting for the HGP Nightly. Still on the regional scene, Brazil is about to host a two-day summit about tackling the enormous challenge which ultimately affects all life on Earth, how to protect the Amazon rainforest to help stop climate change. The latest scientific data shows a major reduction in the amount of trees being felled, but President Lula da Silva faces a huge challenge to meet his goal of zero deforestation by 2030. Al Jazeera's Lucia Newman reports from the Amazonian state of Para in Brazil. Environmental Protection Agency inspectors helicopter into a remote national park in the Amazon state of Para, where thousands of heads of cattle have been raised illegally. They're now being confiscated, but it's too late for the rainforest, which has already been cleared. In the Yanomami Indigenous Reserve, a joint government task force sweeps in to destroy illegal mining assets. While in the city of Belém, inspectors check out a lumberyard's timber to ensure it comes from a legal source, before being shipped to England next week. Alex Lacerda de Sousa heads the environmental agency IBAMA in the state of Pará, which is the size of Angola. He says that under former President Jair Bolsonaro, illegal cattle farmers and loggers operated freely. In the previous four years, we faced the opposition of the president himself. He joined social networks that criminals took part in to say that IBAMA couldn't police them. Our agents were attacked and received death threats. But the tide has shifted. Environmental protection agencies are receiving more financial and political support from the new government, and it's making a difference. Satellite data shows a decrease of nearly 60% in deforestation compared to the same period last year. It's the lowest drop in six years, but still much higher than between 2008 and 2017. 
Look, this is where they've been starting to mark the area they will clear. This was in May, and a month later in June, all the trees you see in the pink area have been removed. That's equivalent to 750 Maracana football stadiums. Brazil's new left-wing government says it's committed to combating climate change and reversing deforestation in the Amazon. But it's easier said than done. Brazil's Congress is controlled by the conservative opposition. In fact, the lower house has already passed a bill that would open up protected areas to commercial interests, such as oil, mining and logging. Should the Senate pass that bill as well, then President Lula da Silva's promise to reach zero deforestation by the end of this decade would be a moot point. There's fierce pressure from powerful sectors in the economy, as well as some local communities, to fast-track investment and development in the Amazon. The issue is finding ways to do so without destroying it. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Belém. Coming up, China's typhoon Doksuri triggers alert amid flooding and landslides. International news is next. You're never too young to start planning for your financial future. That's why I decided to visit National Caribbean Insurance to speak with one of their friendly sales agents. Here at NCI, we strive to ensure customer satisfaction by choosing the right policy for you. Our endowment plans provides customers with adequate returns on their investment. The quinquennial bonus policy offers a 25% payout of the sum assured every five years. Other life insurance packages can help to secure your family's future. Also, please consider our health plans so you can be reimbursed for medical expenses to ease financial impact. Just remember, the younger you are, the more affordable insurance is for you. Don't wait until it's too late to apply. Make an appointment to see a sales agent. Visit us today. We serve, we protect, we satisfy. That's NCI. The biggest party in sport is back. CPL returns with more action than ever before. Are you kidding me? Ole! Watch the biggest names in cricket battle it out in the race for glory. Get your tickets now at cplt20.com or at the box office. Join the party. Experience cricket played louder. Are you ready for the summer? Need a plan like no other. Stay connected when you're on the go. Sign up for internet and get one month free. Plus a chance to pay zero dollars for the rest of the year. Plus get a chance to win free data, gas vouchers, $500 cash weekly, grocery vouchers, Fed tickets and more. Switch over to Flow. Internationally, recovery efforts are underway across parts of China after days of heavy rain triggered floods and landslides. The death toll has risen to 36 and 1.5 million people have been forced to move to safety. The capital Beijing remains on high alert as officials said there could be more landslides. Al Jazeera's Katrina Yu reports from Beijing, China. Parts of China's northeast are underwater and many rivers are dangerously full following torrential rain caused by Typhoon Doksuri. Authorities in the provinces of Heilongjiang, Jilin and Inner Mongolia have raised the alert to the highest levels. Some regions received three times the expected rainfall in the past few days. In Hebei province, the rain has stopped, but recovery efforts are difficult. Emergency teams are using boats to navigate submerged villages. The floods have forced one and a half million Chinese from their homes. There are still 20 plus families trapped in the village, about 30 to 40 people. Many are without electricity and running water, but some are choosing to stay home and protect what they have left. On Friday, hundreds living in Bajo City held a rare protest, angry that flood water from neighboring Beijing was redirected towards them. The provincial Communist Party leader said Hebei was used as a moat to protect and reduce pressure on the capital. 
Residents say they weren't given ample warning and are demanding compensation. Thousands of homes and businesses have been destroyed, along with food supplies. I'm 180 centimeters tall. That's how high the water was. The yard is filled with terrible stench. House have collapsed. We have to wade through the water to get anywhere. After so many years of hard work, it's heartbreaking. Our food is all gone. How can we make a living now? Chinese social media has been scrubbed of comments criticizing the government's response, focusing instead on official rescue and cleanup efforts. Beijing has allocated $49 million to assist affected areas. Parts of the capital remain on high alert after flooding caused landslides and roads to collapse. Typhoons during summer and flooding on this scale are common in southern China, but rare in the inland north and northeast. Many of the worst hit areas were ill-prepared for this disaster. Scientists say Typhoon Doksuri should serve as a wake-up call for government leaders, especially as climate change is expected to bring more extreme weather. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing. A train derailment, derailment in southern Pakistan has killed at least 30 passengers and injured more than 80. Reporting from the scene in Sindh province, Al Jazeera's Zain Basravi says it's believed the train jumped the tracks, derailing almost a dozen carriages. Police say the train began experiencing problems just outside of the town of Sarhari behind me. You can see the derailed cars sitting here on the side of the tracks. But the point of impact seems to be this bridge. A uh, train car seemingly jumped tracks and hit this bridge at medium speed. One witness told us that this train car was the one from which they pulled the largest number of dead bodies from this wreckage. It, and we can still see clothes, shoes, personal belongings strewn everywhere, things that no one is going to be coming back for. Now, the train system in Pakistan is a British era infrastructure project. It is outdated, it needs to be modernized, and it is still a vital part of Pakistan's economy, of Pakistan's transport system. An indication of that is that just less than 24 hours after this tragedy, repair work has begun to get this vital transport link back online. Up next in sport, Paris cancels Olympic swim test in Seine due to water quality. And in Women's World Cup, England in quarterfinals, Denmark heads home. Stay tuned. You're never too young to start planning for your financial future. That's why I decided to visit National Caribbean Insurance to speak with one of their friendly sales agents. Here at NCI, we strive to ensure customer satisfaction by choosing the right policy for you. Our endowment plans provides customers with adequate returns on their investments. The quinquennial bonus policy offers a 25% payout of the sum assured every five years. Other life insurance packages can help to secure your family's future. Also. Please consider our health plans so you can be reimbursed for medical expenses to ease financial impact. Just remember, the younger you are, the more affordable insurance is for you. Don't wait until it's too late to apply. Make an appointment to see a sales agent. Visit us today. We serve. We protect. We satisfy. That's NCI. First up in sport, the first swimming competition due to be held in the River Seine in Paris has been cancelled because of pollution. The test event ahead of next year's Olympics was called off after a week of persistent heavy rain in the city caused sewers to overflow into the river. Al Jazeera's Bernard Smith reports from Paris, France. The River Seine is a centerpiece of the Paris Olympics next year. The opening ceremony will float down here and it'll be used for swimming. But a test event, the Open Water Swimming World Cup, has been cancelled because the water isn't clean enough. The Seine is used as an overflow for sewers when there's heavy rain and in Paris it's been raining all week. Large tanks to store excess storm water aren't ready but should be in place for the Olympics. 
because we had a week, an historical week on a rain point of view. Uh, the city of is five times what the city of Paris ever uh, had on that uh, in that period of the year. So those water tanks would have made the difference. And unfortunately, since they were not uh, uh, open this year, but we see now the difference. We're not that far. Uh, probably tomorrow the water test will be perfect. Olympic organizers say in recent weeks, tests of the water quality in the Seine show it's regularly been clean enough to swim in. There are triathlon and paratriathlon test events here in 10 days time if the water is clean enough. For that, the organizers need drier weather, which helpfully is in the forecast. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Paris. England were made to dig deep when Lauren James was given a red card for stamping, while Denmark could not overcome the strength of an inform Australian side. More in this report. England scraped through to the quarterfinals of the Women's World Cup on Monday after nudging out Nigeria on penalties. The game ended nil-nil after regulation and extra time, with the European champions eventually winning the shootout 4-2. The Lionesses will next take on either Jamaica or Colombia and will have to make do without their star player Lauren James, who was handed a red card in the 87th minute. Elsewhere, Australia also advanced after a convincing 2-0 triumph over Denmark. Caitlin Ford opened the scoring before Hayley Russell secured the win with a clinical finish in the 70th minute. The co-hosts will next battle it out with either France or Morocco on Saturday. When we come back, we'll have another look at the stories that made the headlines. Stay tuned. It's okay to party. It's okay to drink. But it's never okay to drive after drinking at a party. Make it a night to remember, not a night to forget. Stay alive. Don't drink and drive. Make the right choice. St. Kitts and Nevis. We now wrap up with a recap of the top stories. New Vibes Band Truck topples over in Nevis. Miss Culturama 2023 crowned and St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party officials attend anniversary church service. And that's it for the ZIZ Major Newscast. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jason Davis.